I want to quickly talk to you about how to set up a virtual uh, address for uh, for Google My Business, and uh, I want to really give you the hacks that you need to follow into this conversation. And so here's an overview I want you to really pay attention to before I actually talk about the, the step by step. I want to really um, explain a little bit what Google My Business really is, okay? And the thing is that when we talk about Google My Business, we are speaking about a tool that allows you a platform that is that allows you to actually uh, leverage a virtual address effectively from uh, like uh, maintaining a professional image to ensuring that you comply with Google's policies, okay? And uh, what we talk about Google My Business, we are talking about having a virtual address. So a virtual address can be used, uh, can be used with uh, Google My Business to provide a prestigious location, privacy for our home-based business owners, and a cost-effective way to uh, operate in multiple markets along with mail handling services. So basically what I'm trying to say here is that you can be located somewhere in uh, Brooklyn, New York, I I in your house or in your basement, but have a, a virtual address so that your uh, GMB uh, profile, your Google My Business profile is pretty prestigious. In other words, it lists you as having an address at a very prestigious street and, uh, you know, for instance, Fifth, Fifth Avenue, New York. OK, so that's really that's really the gist of today's conversation. But now to be eligible for Google My Business, virtual addresses must represent staff locations, allow physical meetings with clients, offer a real street address, not a PO box, and display clear signage with the business uh, name. OK, and now setting up a Google My Business profile with a virtual address involves uh, choosing a legitimate virtual office provider, accurately creating a Google account and business listing, verifying via a, post a, a postcard and maintaining the listing with detailed information and customer engagement. So that means that you're going to have to actually uh, make sure the, the whole that everything looks looks uh, legitimate, really. Now, can you do it if you are somewhere like from if you're operating from your basement? Yes, you can really do that. And that's what I'm going to explain to you into this conversation. Boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. I want to give you the approach you need to follow when you're thinking about uh, setting up a virtual address for Google My Business. First of all, it's important to, to understand that you do need a physical address for Google My Business. I mean, Google has uh, other services where you don't need a physical address, but for Google My Business specifically, you need a physical address. If your business makes in-person contacts with customers during its stated hours. Now, without a physical address, you cannot have a Google business profile. That That's just uh, as simple as that. Now, how do you create a virtual address for your business? Well, it really depends upon the configuration that you have. But to create a, vi a virtual address for your business, you need to choose a virtual address service. Just make sure that the service is legitimate because uh, Google is going to verify the uh, legitimacy of uh, the, the, the location. So after you select a, a virtual address service, you want to select an address. You need to file form 1583, so 1583 with, with a USPS. You got to redirect your mail and update official business documents. So you can see that there is a whole protocol you need to follow if you if you have to create a virtual address for your business. Now, can you use a, a PO box for Google My Business? Well, I know you. I think you already know the answer to that question. The the, the answer is, is no. Google My Business does not accept PO boxes at all. You should use your main address, not your PO box address, when filling in when uh, filling in your business information. Avoid using PO boxes for your business profile because if Google finds out. They'll, they will actually ban or shadow ban your account and you don't want to have that. And the thing is, uh, a lot of people are, are kind of uh, confused about uh, virtual office thinking, can they use uh, a virtual office for Google business? Yes. The answer is yes. I mean, GMB, Google My Business accepts virtual office, not a problem, but you can use a virtual office for a Google business, but it must meet certain criteria such as having clear signage and the staff present during listed hours. I mean, those two, uh, those two criteria are actually apply to apply to nearly anything and all companies. Now, are there any downsides to uh, using a virtual address for Google My Business? Of course, if not managed properly, 
using a virtual address for Google My Business can lead to uh, skepticism from Google and potential violations of guidelines impacting the business's uh, legitimacy, and they will either ban you or shadow ban you. Boss, I want to quickly talk to you about uh, today's, I want to remind you about today's conversation. We are talking about how to set up a virtual address for Google My Business. I want to give you the pro tips that you need to really keep in mind as you are trying to uh, set up a virtual address for Google My Business. First of all, let's understand virtual addresses for Google My Business. What are we talking about really here? Well, first of all, let, let's define a virtual address so that everybody on, is on the same page when it comes to the concept. Now, a virtual address provides the following benefits. You have a lot of benefits. So you have a prestigious business address for companies that lack a physical if you lack a physical location, you are able to be registered within the Google My Business platform. Again, going back to what I said a little earlier, if you have, if you're operating from a, a basement in Brooklyn, New York, or you are in your garage in somewhere in Teaneck, New Jersey, and you're trying to have, a, you're trying to show a showcase a prestigious sort of a profile, a virtual address will help you do that. And a virtual address also enhances a business's professional image by associating it with a renowned city or a well-known location. And a virtual address protects the privacy of home-based business owners by preventing their home address from being public. And you don't want the, you don't want the, your address, your private address to be uh, public. And a virtual address allows startups to uh, avoid losing their physical office while still preserving credibility. A virtual office with the Google My Business providers uh, actually uh, you know, offer uh, additional services such as remote access and management of business mail, providing, when you think about it, a reliable location for receiving mail and packages that can be forwarded to the business owner's actual location. So that's kind of important. So when you think about it, this is actually a, a very cost-effective solution for businesses operating remotely or from different cities allowing them really to expand to multiple markets without incurring the cost associated with purchasing or renting real estate in those locations. I mean, think about it. You are somewhere in New York and you're trying to, you're trying to penetrate, let's say, uh, California, like LA's market or, I mean, California overall. You do not want to spend the, the, the cash to actually get there, but uh, a virtual office can really help you uh, get there real fast. So now let's talk to you about the criteria for using a virtual address for Google My Business, the virtual office provider must satisfy certain criteria to enable use of a virtual office address on Google My Business. And one of those requirements is that the virtual office must be staffed during normal business hours. The rule apl also applies to service area businesses using a virtual address as customers should be able to visit the location. Businesses must be allowed to use the offices and meeting rooms of the virtual office when necessary verifying their use for real operational needs. Not just any address will suffice for Google My Business. The virtual office must off offer a real street address, not a PO box or mailbox at a remote location. And you got to have clear signage and you got to really uh, require it also to uh, physically meet with clients at the virtual office's location. I want to talk to you now about setting up your Google My Business profile with a virtual address. The thing is to set up a, a GMB profile with a virtual address. You'll need to create a Google account, that's for sure. You need to enter your, vir your virtual address and business details. And you also need to validate your listing via a postcard dispatched to your virtual address. Now, let, let's first talk about choosing the right virtual office provider. I mean, we have uh, tons of videos that really uh, cover this uh, this topic, so I'm not really going to, going to uh, talk too much about it. But the thing is that the selection of a virtual office provider that adheres to a Google's rules is kind of vital to the successful establishment of a Google My Business listing. So you got to have a, a provider that offer uh, staff availability during business hours and also accommodate the statements of visitors by appointment only, which is required by uh, required for GMB listings. You should also uh, opt for a provider that gives access to professional, tech-enabled uh, meeting rooms and offers key services like phone services. 
This way, businesses can reap the benefits of a physical office space without the need for one, okay? And besides, to adhere to Google's guidelines and enhance credibility, and which is kind of important for your business too. The, what happens here is that the selected virtual office provider should really offer a distinctive and personalized business address. That's kind of a, really important. So when we talk about creating your Google My Business account, it's it's kind of it's kind of really straightforward. You just make sure you have your Google account linked to your business. If you don't have one, you need to create one. Visit the, the Google My Business website. Log in using your Google account credentials from a desktop or laptop for easier navigation and setup. And uh, so, really, so after after you do this, you really need to set up your virtual office address as the business location and to indicate that you deliver goods and services to your customers. So you need to input your virtual your virtual office address as the business location. Select the option to uh, indicate that you deliver goods and services. And if your business is service based, you want to define your service areas or delivery areas during setup to target the correct audience and ensure that your business is found by the right customers. And uh, finally, you want to add your business phone number and website URL to your Google My Business profile to make it easy for customers to reach out and learn more about what you offer and complete the creation of your Google uh, Business profile by clicking the blue button on your Google My Business website. So the thing is that the process is pretty straightforward. Nothing really complicated here. Pretty straightforward. And uh, you also need to verify your Google, your business listing. So uh, validation of your Google My Business listing is a really vital stage in the setup procedure. And this typically uh, involves a postcard being sent to your provided virtual office address. And you will find a unique verification code on the postcard. Enter this code into your Google My Business account. And if the postcard with the verification code doesn't arrive, you have the option to request a new code through uh, your GMB account. And for businesses with multiple locations, well, a bulk verification option is available that requires submitting a form with key contact details, enabling all locations to be verified simultaneously. Boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are already having a conversation about how to set up a virtual address for GMB. I want to talk to you now about the pros and cons of using a virtual address for Google My Business because I mean everything is uh, everything has pros and cons, you know. So there are numerous benefits to using a virtual address for Google My Business for sure. So even if your business doesn't have a local presence, you can still enjoy the benefits of a physical mailing address. In other words, if you are trying to get into a prestigious geography but you're not there physically, you still can participate. You can you can be you can be there through a virtual address. And then this can be particularly advantageous for a service area businesses to offer the image of a physical office without the associated cost. And using Google Maps can help customers easily locate and navigate to the service area businesses. And uh, having a virtual address on business websites and marketing materials can improve the business's perception by presenting a more professional and established image to clients and partners. And you need that. And you might need it in more in, in more uh, geographies and a virtual address also provides practical benefits such as mail and package receipts with forwarding options and access to amenities like professional meeting rooms without renting physical office space on the other on the other side of the coin potential skepticism from google towards virtual addresses could result in uh, breaches of google my business rules this could potentially impact the legitimacy of the business if not managed properly. And now let's talk about virtual address alternatives for service area businesses. Now, despite the numerous advantages of virtual office addresses, service area businesses have other options as well. This include utilizing a home address or acquiring a PO box. Now, this, however, come with their own challenges, primary, uh, pr primarily uh, privacy and security, really. And service area businesses without a customer facing location are advised to hide their address on Google My Business or use the address where administrative activities are conducted. And this, when you think about it, is kind of cool because uh, it really helps uh, maintain privacy, customer trust, and compliance with Google guidelines. And, and you need that, right? Because the last thing you want to have is uh, to actually uh, 
you know, um, violate the Google guidelines. You don't want to do that because if you do, as I said before, they'll either ban you or shadow ban you. Either way, you're not going to come out of this, this fight as a winner. Now, let me talk to you about optimizing your Google My Business listing with a virtual address. And this is kind of important because just having your GMB listing is not going to uh, help you uh, be listed uh, faster or be listed easier, more easily. You got to optimize it. So enhancing your Google My Business listing with a virtual address, really, uh, this entails more than just entering uh, the address. Make sure your listing is complete with uh, accurate and current contact details including a phone number you got to have a phone number and this doesn't have to be uh, your, uh, your your mobile phone it could be uh, it can be a phone that gets forwarded to your mobile phone but it has to be a landline and you also got to have a website URL and business hours those are things that really lend a, an extra layer of credibility to your Google my business profile it's also worth considering enhancing your Google my business profile by adding high quality images writing compelling descriptions along with uh, relevant keywords to improve engagement and visibility actively responding to customer reviews and inquiries on your google my business listen to build confidence among potential customers and cultivate a reputation for attentive customer service you got to have that anyway because customers love the fact that uh, customers love uh, companies that are responsive not just uh, with uh, bad news but also good news i mean you know somebody leaves uh, Somebody leaves a, a review on uh, on your company. The the last thing you the, the least you can do, and the most polite thing you can do is to answer. Right? It shows responsiveness. It shows responsibility, and it shows accountability. And uh, you also can actually enhance uh, your Google My Business profile by uh, taking advantage of uh, Google Posts to communicate directly with your customer base on GMB, sharing news, events, offers, and more to keep your audience engaged and informed. See, the thing is that Google Google wants to make sure that si you, simply claiming your profile is not just the last thing you do with Google My Business. You got to really uh, have a more proactive approach to make sure the to, to make sure that potential customers and and uh, current customers know that you are really there. And if your business actually uh, delivers to specific regions, you need to set service areas within the within your GMB listing to target the appropriate audience effectively. That will really help you in terms of establishing your reputation in the, uh, in the appropriate uh, geography. Let's close to this conversation uh, by talking about compliance. See, the thing is that GMB, Google My Business, upholds a series of uh, guidelines and directives and you got to really uh really uh abide by those uh those uh policies so for a business is using a virtual address it's kind of vital to uphold to uphold compliance with google my business rules so google doesn't allow businesses to list virtual office addresses on their google my business profiles if they don't meet customers in person at those locations so do, doing so may lead to account suspension or delisting and as I said, this is kind of similar to what I said about being banned or shadow banned. And Google mandates that businesses keep a single profile for representing their location or service area accurately, which is especially significant for service area businesses to evade violations. And if you are a business with multiple locations, there is also a, there's a, actually a, a, a way to actually uh, bypass that. But it's important to be transparent. And uh, adhering to content guidelines by highlighting unique aspects of the business and avoiding prohibited content is also critical for compliance with uh, Google My Business. And Google is really sort of uh, strict with that because uh, this goes back to the quality of the inf information that you're sharing with uh, current customers, prospective customers, and the public in general. And uh, regular audits and consistent, accurate updates of business information like Operating hours, offerings, and business name variations can prevent the suspension from uh, Google My Business, and you do not want to really uh, be uh, be suspended anyway. I mean, this it takes a long time for you to be reinstated. So, long story short, 
the point, the point I'm tr I was trying to make in the last 20 minutes was that using a virtual address for your Google My Business profile really offers a cost-effective solution for businesses that don't have a physical location, allowing those businesses to establish a professional image and expand to new markets. It's kind of crucial to choose the right virtual office provider, optimize your listing, and maintain compliance with Google's guidelines. And uh, with due diligence and regular updates, a virtual office address can uh, be a valuable tool for enhancing your business's online presence. So that's really important. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I just spoke to you about how to set up a virtual address for Google My Business. And let's do a quick recap here. I give you the overview, the approach, the pro tips, and uh, now the recap. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.